16. At LaGuardia Airport for a certain nightly flight, the probability that it will rain is 0 0.1 and the probability that the flight will be delayed is 0 0.07. The probability that it will not rain and the flight will leave on time is 0 0.87. What is the probability that the flight would be delayed when it is raining? So therefore, we need to label or our base by LaGuardia Airport or just airport. So from that airport, airport it might rain and not rain. It will rain for one point one percent, and not rain would be point nine. Now, if it rains, there's a chance that the flight will be what? denied oh delay i'm sorry and not delay same thing if it didn't rain there's a delay and not delay so a chance of being a delay given that it's raining is 0.07 so not delay would be 0.93 for the delay there's a chance of getting us 0.13 and this is for 0.87. Okay. Where did I get these numbers here? I just want to circle. Don't be confused. I'm not imagining a number here. So now, let's start. The only questions that we need to answer here is, what is the probability that the flight would be delayed when it is raining? So, it would be delayed. So, raining given it is delayed. So, 0.1, I'll put it here. Multiply by 0.7. I'm sorry, it's 0 0.7. That will give me an equal of 0 0.007. Divided by just given delayed when it, raining, when it rains. So, that's 0.1. Remember, this is just delayed when it is raining, so that's 0.1. So therefore, that will be 0 0.07, or we can have 7%. That's the answer. Number 17, the probability that Gary and Jane have a child with blue eyes is 0 0.45. And the probability that they have a child with brown hair is 0 0.6. The probability that they have a child with both brown hair and blue eyes is 0 0.34. Given that the child has brown, brown hair, what is the probability that they will also have blue eyes? Alright, as is given, given meaning we're expecting that this would be a denominator. As is given that the child has brown hair. Brown hair here is 0 0.6. Alright, so meaning to say this is 0 0.6. Now, probability that they will also have blue eyes. Blue eyes, see brown hair and blue eyes would be 0 0.24. So, I think this problem is quite easy because it's already stated here. Both brown hair, you have a brown hair which is the given. And given that they have blue eyes, so that's 0.34. So the answer is 57%. 18. Create a Venn diagram that represents the set below. So set U for up to 20. Set A says multiples of 3. What are the multiples of 3 from 4 to 20? Let's start with 6. So 6. We got 9, we got 12, we got 15, 18. A total of 5 elements. For the one that says multiples of 5, we can start at 5, 10, 15, 20. That's it. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 elements. 
Next, 7. Multiples of 7. We can start at 7 and then 14. That's it. There's no 21, so let's do the numbers. Now, it says what number represents C prime? So if you set C 7 and 14, prime are those numbers which cannot be seen in the set but can be found in the universal. So therefore, so therefore, we can start including, so C prime is 4, 5, 6, we have 7 here, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is here, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's the C prime. For number 19, instead of giving you the right answer here, let me explain how will you able to analyze or make a shading portion in each of these letters. So I put it in one paper. So every letter here in your number 19 can be found here. So I'll show you the work and how you will represent it through shading okay and then later we can see which one is the answer here okay, let's start for letter a it says a prime inter a union of b prime so i will represent each so every shaded would be the answer so a prime to represent a prime you're gonna draw the universal the two circles that represents the A and the B. Since we want the prime, meaning we're gonna we're gonna shade all everything except for A. Okay, that's it. And then we're gonna do B prime. See, it seems like you are also doing an operations, but this is true shading. Now, B prime, meaning at this moment, we are not uh, shading the set of B. We're shading everything except B. There you go. Now, union means to combine. So, if we're going to combine these two, which are the part where we need to shade and doesn't need to be shaded? So, therefore, I'll put it in a bigger one. So, A and B. Meaning... This part right here would be shaded, that part would be shaded, same thing here, but this in the middle is not. So that's the answer. It. So that's the answer for A prime union of B prime. Again, this is for A prime, that's for B prime, and when we combine them, that's it. You are not supposed to shade this.